Right, the plan for today is a repair on a vintage music system. If we have a spin around, there it is. It's my old Sony HMK11B, 1970s stereo music system, which is a nice piece of kit. And it has a good uh, turntable unit, radio, FM, long wave and AM. But uh, the problem it's always had as it got older is with the cassette deck. The problem we're going to fix today is the fact that the play button doesn't latch on. Record button does. play button won't latch on. So we'll start the strip down. First thing we do is take the two wood effect side panels off. That's uh, four screws out and they lift off. And I've taken the turntable mat out of the way. And it's a long time since I've done this job, so uh, I'm really trying to scratch my head here. But I do remember that we uh, pull off the two buttons there. That's the tape select for chrome tape. And HNR, which is Sony's own Dolby system, which is uh, hiss and noise reduction. <laughs> That's what they call it. And then I think we've got to take this screw out that's down this tube. And this is where a magnetic screwdriver comes in quite handy. And the next screw we want to take out is actually inside the cassette deck itself. If we just put a light on here, you can probably see it there. So that one requires a small screwdriver which will just fit in there. And also we've got to take off the uh, auto manual and repeat button, lever should say, top which I'm going to try and pull off. Oh boy that's really tight. Try the speed one. Oh, that's not coming off either. Hmm. The stylus drop one is coming off. Going to have to do some persuasion on these ones. Yeah, they were tight, but uh, we've got them off. And what we'll do next is we'll uh, raise the stylus up and move the arm across to the centre of the turntable. And that keeps uh, the stylus off the metal but the arm's got to be in that position to get the deck off. We've got another screw down here, right down here, down this tube. Got to take that one out. Got that screw out. So now, as you'll see, the whole top of the deck is going to lift off. should be a couple of wires that lead up to something that I've got to take off. I think it's the record light. Yeah, there it is. So they're actually held in two connectors. So they can be pulled apart like so. There we go. So now we can remove the whole top. 
And there you go, that now lets you see what we're dealing with. And what we're concerned with here is the fact that the play button, which uh, is that one, the play button is that one, doesn't latch on. And the reason it doesn't latch on is because there is wear in the interlock and the spring's not strong enough to uh, latch it on. Now I've repaired it in the past with a rubber band. I can see the rubber band there. It's not doing very much, but rubber perishes. You can just see it. I think it's going down underneath and it's pulling on something underneath the interlock. Gonna have to take the cassette deck out to see where we go from here. Now the thing I like about this unit is that it's so serviceable. I mean you can get into everything. So what we've done is I've taken two screws out of the panel that has the switches on it for the tape select and the hiss and noise reduction so that I can move that back out of the way and uh, four screws it's the four screws and the two screws out of the out of this panel four screws on the cassette deck one on each corner and the whole cassette deck can lift up You can get right underneath it. I can actually see a rubber band lying in pieces under there, perished. So my previous repair with a rubber band it needs to be redone or something better done. Let's see if we can actually show you where the problem is here. We've got the cassette deck on its side and when we press one of the buttons down, I'll pick the record button because it's the easiest. When we press that down, you'll see, I'll pick that one, you'll see an interlock just about here that latches onto a, a lever. So we press that down, if I can get enough, oh there we are, if I can get enough movement on it. Here we go press that down and it pushes that bar this is going to fall over here <laughs> it pushes this bar down and latches on in there and when we press the stop button that you can see a lever actually pushes the bar to release it from the from where it's trapped. I'm going to do that again. If you watch that one, there we are, I've got it in camera. If you watch that one, locks itself, it locks itself behind the bar and the bar holds it on. And then when we press the stop button, that one pushes the bar and it releases that one. Now what's happening is the play button is so worn, the latch on the play button is so worn that it, uh, it won't latch into the interlock. So the interlock is held with a spring, there's me physically pushing the interlock and it's very light, you can do with a heavier spring so that's how we're going to fix it. I used to fix it with a rubber band but I'm going to try and find a spring that I can put on to actually hold the interlock in place a lot better. Then it is. That's the plan.